All right, in this video, we're gonna go over how to add a custom navigation tree to your shop. As you've seen before, your shop currently has a default category navigation. This is my test shop. You can see I have items in apparel, computers, and sports. This automatically gets populated and you're unable to edit the default category navigation. What you can do is add your own custom tree and remove the, the default one if you'd like. So let's jump right into it. First, you're gonna to wanna to log into your shop manager. First, you're gonna to wanna to probably type in the right password. Then you're gonna to wanna to go to administration, page management, right click and do add page. So right click doesn't matter, I just do a home, add page. And for this example, we're going to um, show all my BZ manufactured products. So BZ is a sporting goods, um, they make body boards or boogie boards, however you know them as. For this example, I'm going to make uh, custom navigation for all my BZ products. So for my page name, I'm just gonna title it BZ and hit add page. It's gonna take you to, it's gonna redirect you somewhere right after this is finished. Good, now you're gonna to wanna to go back to administration, page management, click on the BZ, and it'll probably be, look like this with the link shrunk. You're gonna to wanna to click that caret to expand it, and you're gonna to wanna to go to link type URL, a link to a page within your shop. And then you're going to want to open a new a new tab or a new browser and type in your shop name and um, make sure you're looking at it as a customer would look at it look at your at your shop. And in the search uh, in the search bar, we're going to type in BZ. So all the products that have BZ as a manufacturer are going to show up here. I only have one, but if you had more, obviously it, it would populate. And we're going to copy this link at the top, paste it in this location here. And what we're doing is we're gonna we need to tell our shop when people click on the BZ link, where is it taking them? It's taking them to the link you just copy and paste it. So you want to make sure um, you get the right link. After you hit update, go to the top, make sure you have that green page BZ updated, and we're gonna want to go to manage home page. And this step you're only gonna have to do once, but as you can see, currently I only have the default category navigation. I wanted to add the custom one that I'm doing right now with BZ. So you're going to want to go into edit mode, go to modules, add new module, and the module we're going to add is navigation tree. Category navigation, that's the default category navigation that's uh, that, will, that automatically gets populated. You're unable to edit that. What you can edit is the navigation tree. So we're going to click and drag that below. It takes a little bit of time to render, um, but once it does it, it it's um, it's real time. That's why it takes a little bit of time. It's kind of slow. If you wanted, you could um, hover over this cog wheel for category navigation and delete it if you wanted to only have your custom uh, navigation tree, or you can have them both. For this example, I'll just include them both. Um, go ahead and hit cancel after you've added the module. Leave edit mode, and you will see your custom navigation tree added right below here. And let's go ahead and click on BZ to show um, that the link was correct. Perfect, so it shows all my BZ products. Now let's say if I wanted to show all my footballs that I have in my shop, I wanted to make a custom navigation for footballs. We're gonna do that as well. Go back to page management under administration here. Right click, add page, and we're gonna title it footballs. It'll, t it'll redirect us to another page after this completes. Okay, go back to page management. Click on footballs, and again, we're gonna have to tell the page, or tell the, the link where to direct us to. So we're gonna click URL, a page within your shop, and we're gonna go back to my shop. Make sure it's the home page. That's the home page for my shop, and, I, 
we're going to type in football. So this is going to type, this is going to bring up all the products that have football. And I only have that one football, so we're going to copy this link again. And paste. Update page. Updated. To make sure it worked, we're going to go to Manage Home Page. And as you can see, it hasn't updated visually yet, but to make sure you did it correctly, you're going to want to go into Edit Mode and make sure it got added. As you can see, we see footballs is there. You did everything correctly. It just hasn't pushed the updates live yet. It takes a little bit of time, um, up to you know a few hours, um, whenever the, the updates get pushed. It, it, just get if if you do it and you haven't found, after a day, if you haven't seen uh, your custom, it's just not showing up your uh, the custom navigation. Let us know when we can look into the issue, but it should it should work. Let's make sure it worked. We click footballs. Perfect. Now, let's say if I wanted to, you know, like, okay, this looks weird. Why I have the category navigation default and mine. I want to delete the category navigation. That's fine. You're just going to have to add, you know, apparel, computer, sports, you know, any taxonomy that you want to show up in your custom navigation. Um, you're going to have to add that manually as well. So that same thing we're gonna let's let's just walk through that with computers. So we're gonna go back to page management, right click, add pages. This is gonna be computers. Add page. Remember, we got to go back to administration, page management, and we have to tell the shop what to redirect people to when they click on computers. So click on the computers page, link a URL. Let's go back to your to to the other browser or other tab you have open. Make sure at the home page you're at the home page of your shop, and we're going to type in computers or whatever category you want to add. So I, I imagine you want to do all of them, so you're going to have to do one at a time. Let's do computers. Hit search. And this is going to bring up all my products that live in the computers category. Copy this link. Paste it here. Update. Same thing for everything. Make sure it updated. Manage home page. Hasn't updated, but let's make sure I did it correctly in edit mode. There it is. Click on computers. It should up. It should bring me to the link I did. And there you go. If you wanted to rename these na uh, these titles, you absolutely could. Uh, let's say you think home is too bland or too um, too. It's the default. You don't like it. You want to make it your own. You're gonna to want to go to page management, and you can rename any of the tabs. Click on the home thing, home to home page, and my page is currently named home so let's do Paul's store home page update and that will change the name to what you just named it so instead of being named home they'll be like what is home oh it's the home page for his shop it's really up to you however you want to however you want to customize it some if you want to be creative, go for it. If you just want to keep it the way it is, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, if you ever wanted to delete this default custom category navigation, hover over that cogwheel, hit delete. Yes, I'm sure. And there you go. That's it. If you have any questions, the email address for the merchant success team is in the description. Uh, please email us and let us know what your question is, and we will definitely get back to you soon. Thank you so much for your time.